any accountability, any consequences, because if not, you will see even more of the barriers that, that seemingly were there in the past uh, just simply melt away in the future. Brian, but destroying official documents, that is against the law and something Trump accused your former boss of doing during the, the 2016 campaign. Remember this? <laughs> 33,000 emails disappeared. People who have nothing to hide don't smash phones with hammers. They don't. People who have nothing to hide don't bleach. Nobody's ever heard of it. Don't bleach their emails or destroy evidence to keep it from being publicly archived as required under federal law. She also and her staff destroyed some of her 13 different phones, but this time with a hammer. I'm, it's got to be galling for you to listen to that. You've brought so many fond memories back for me, Don. Thank you. Um, to Ron's point, one of the reasons why that email matter became such a dark cloud over Hillary Clinton's head throughout 2016, unfairly, I believe, is because federal law enforcement officials at that time saw fit to launch a true, deep federal investigation into that email setup that she had. And not only that, they decided to disclose it publicly, which was a rather um, extreme step. But they made a calculation that in order to preserve confidence in the rule of law, we have to visibly throw the book at Hillary Clinton and keep the public in suspense for a year about whether we might bring charges about her when any serious, credible law enforcement official behind the scenes was telling you they knew that there was never going to be any charges brought against her. And yet you're seeing the opposite approach being taken with Donald Trump, who called the Secretary of State of Georgia trying to change election results in that state and has openly incited an insurrection at the Capitol on January 6th. Here, federal law enforcement officials in Donald Trump's case are giving no hint that he's facing any consequences, any investigation. There's been no whisper of any interview that he or senior Trump uh, family members are being brought in to be questioned by federal law officials. A number of observers have said it's quite strange a year in that we're not hearing any peep of any grand jury proceeding that seems to have Trump as its target. And so am I surprised that he's feeling fine to flout the presidential records act? Of course not, because he's getting away with having incited an insurrection and try to overturn the results of an election. So I just think that the uh, we need to see a stepped-up response from Merrick Garland here, or else we're going to see continued reckless behavior from Donald Trump if he runs again in 2024. I just remember the conservative media, and then the bleach bit, and the hammers, and the, where's the shredder, and the scissors, and the ripping? Where are those stories about Donald Trump? Oh, well, might that have all been in bad faith time? Uh, that would <laughs> Thank be hard you both. to believe. Thank you both. See you soon. Be well.